All right, so what you're seeing here is Share LaTeX, where I've uploaded official sample document, and I've actually compiled it such that I have a title with the writing assignment and uh, my name and the due date that are all compiled into this document here. What I want to show you is how did I get there. So uh, let's uh, throw this guy away. We're going to delete that file, sure. And if we go to new, you know, we want to upload a file, and I want to drag in that downloaded file official sample, which I had downloaded, right? So I had downloaded official sample from right here. I clicked on this, downloaded it. This is on the uh, templates tab, and I uploaded loaded it here as official sample. I'm going to go over into my settings and you're going to see that the root document says no root document selected exclamation point that's bad so we just choose official sample document out of the settings go back to our code make sure we're highlighting it and you'll see that it's now different it doesn't say EGEE 437 writing assignment it says what it does it says what it what it had in the original which was a sample document so if I wanted to change that EGEE 437 writing assignment, which is fine, and Jeffrey Brownson, I'm going to put my initials, just fine, um, I could probably even put in my login, JRB52, so that everybody could find me, and I could put in the date, the due date, due September 3rd, 2013, something like that, right? and all of that information will be input with this make title command and that's what makes these three lines and then section is the f the kind of the first of the organizational uh, uh, parts of a document so if I said first section or first part uh, that would be fine um, and what I'm gonna do now is compile that and it will compile and I will be left with a document right here that I could look at. I could actually click this to expand it to look at the whole PDF to see what I've got before I download it. Shows uh, shows things like how do we do quotation marks inside of LaTeX. It's a little bit different. Quotation marks are yeah so quotation marks this are handled specially so you actually have a on the key underneath your usually underneath or right next to your escape key is the left quotation mark which I hit twice and then I hit the apostrophe twice to get my quotation marks to happen All right, then I hit compile and it will do the compiling step and then I go back to my viewer and I should probably find that spot where I wrote this twice. There's this with no spaces, there's this with spaces, and you see how the quotes are actually different directions. They're, they're, they're really specifically typeset quotes rather than just two slash marks. Okay, and we have lots of other aspects in here that you can look at and check and, and change for your own writing assignment. You've got some uh, objectives in your writing assignment to include things like enumerated lists, begin enumerate and end enumerate are examples of that. Itemized lists are also in here. Uh, we basically separate every item in a list using this slash item. And so you, you're, you can look at this, and I can actually expand this a little bit so that it's not so scrunched, and, uh, and do a lot. And at the end of your document, you've got this line end document, which we've seen in our other videos. But I thought this would be helpful for you to get started with your very first writing assignment.